experiencing the first sun rays of the day as we slowly wake up, euphorically receiving our final exam, which we've anticipated so eagerly, enjoying a wonderful romantic dinner with our beloved partner, enthusiastically starting at our inspiring new workplace, finally buying the marvelous house that we've dreamed of our entire lives, or simply finding our smartphone in an unusual spot after losing it. Joy comes in infinite variations. It is an emotion of delight and happiness caused by an extraordinary event. There's plenty of joy in most aspects of life and still we remain miserable. We struggle our way through a complicated life just for the small ecstatic moments. The search for happiness is a never-ending story. We try to reach it, we work for it, and on few occasions we even experience a moment of bliss. But it rarely lasts. Eventually we get pulled down again. Reality gives us a harsh reminder that happiness is not a permanent state of mind. Joy is just like a drug, because on a hormonal level it does just the same. Drugs increase our positive feelings, they boost our dopamine and endorphin levels while decreasing the negativity, stress and frustration. And just like that we get hooked. We crave more and more, we increase our consumption, we increase the dosage until we go completely mad. Joyful experiences follow an equal procedure. We chase the next amusing and satisfactory moment just to realize a decrease in intensity. The first dates are incredibly exciting, we get nervous and we have this intense tingling. After 100 dates with the same person we might still be happy to see them after an exhausting day, but the thrill of the first weeks has worn off. There's no tingling anymore, the anticipation dropped and our enthusiasm shrinks every minute because our partner is coming home late once again. We have great expectations, but we can't get back to the flaming desire of the first weeks. We've adapted to the circumstances and we do this in every situation. The first A plus is phenomenal, but after earning six in a row it begins to feel more like getting a C. Our first amazing piece of cake puts our mind at ease. But after eating the entire cake, we realize that we should have controlled our urges. We imagined it more satisfying than it actually was. Joy is the constant fight between an euphoric high and quick adaptation. We might truly enjoy a sumptuous, delicious piece of cake, but we won't enjoy it if we eat it every day. We might crave an intense night with another individual, but it won't be the same if we already get our daily high by watching porn. Every pleasurable, repetitive action numbs our receptors a bit more. More happy moments means less happy moments. Let that sink in for a second. More happy moments means we adapt to the feeling of joy. And with each new delightful situation we adapt a little more. And intensity shrinks for every subsequent event. Giving in to our hedonistic urges guarantees a quick emotional high, but it never lasts and often we end up worse than before. We aren't meant for a constant high, we need to earn it. Cheating and taking shortcuts is easy, but it results in devastating outcomes. Having less enjoyable moments makes the few hardly earned and cheerful minutes exponentially better and it is well worth the wait and the effort. It takes a lot of self-control to not masturbate. It takes dedication to work on a big project instead of watching the newest show on Netflix. It takes patience to learn a new skill and it definitely requires a lot of self-restraint to eat healthy. In the beginning it is insanely tough, but we improve, grow and become proud once we reach a major goal. We embrace our successful moments and we become grateful for the little things but also for our hard-earned accomplishments. In many instances joy is nothing but a distant memory. 
A hiking trip is not enjoyable at every stage. In fact, it can be exhausting, demanding and even frightening. But once we look back, we see an amazing journey. We forget about the pain and the rain. We remember the incredible view from the mountaintop. We remember the cheerful conversations and we remember the sound of singing birds. We look back and recall all the exciting times and we become grateful for sharing these moments with our loved ones. Memories are fuel for a lifetime. And exactly this is the difference between giving in to our immediate urges and working for a greater goal. Looking back on how we devoured a gigantic pizza gives us a feeling of disgust and shame until we eventually forget it completely. Recalling vacations and achieving accomplishments gives us a warm feeling every time we think of it. Immediate pleasure rarely lasts. We live in difficult times. Giving in to all immediate urges is now easier than ever. We can order everything online. We can get our quick highs. We have access to simple sexual relationships. And we get delicious food delivered straight to our doorstep. All of this with a few simple clicks. We get bombarded with ads for hedonistic goods because, let's face it, a sustainable lifestyle is actually fairly inexpensive and doesn't sell well. Committing to less instant indulgence is the best decision for our long-term happiness. Cutting back on our daily pleasures paves the road to triumph, pride and euphoria. Will you chase the vicious cycle of constant pleasure and quick adaptation? Or will you pursue a sustainable life with incredibly intense moments of bliss? It's in your hands.